Today, we're diving into the latest on SOFI and what's driving its performance. We've got some interesting updates and data to go through, so let's get started. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Daily Stock Update. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But before that, alert, this is not a financial advice video. Sophie is down by 2.54%. The trading volume stands at 31.3 million shares, which is below the average of 42.1 million. No fresh news has come from Sophie itself, and there haven't been any new SEC filings recently. However, we did see some job-related data released today. The ad non-farm employment figures and initial jobless claims data were mixed, which seems to be affecting the market sentiment. Additionally, Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell expressed some concerns about the labor market, adding to investor anxiety. The market is trying to digest a lot of information right now. There's about a 41% chance of a 50 basis point rate cut and a 59% chance of a 25 basis point cut. This uncertainty is causing some fluctuations in the market. As I mentioned in yesterday's video, short interest isn't a major factor today. Currently, shorts are returning about 186,000 shares, with short interest making up 17.74% of the free float, which equates to around 185.74 million shares overall. Interestingly, there hasn't been significant negative borrowing activity for about a week and a half. Today, we've seen that institutional investors are behind much of the selling pressure. Early in the day, there was significant buying, particularly around 8.30 a.m., which pushed Sophie's price up to a high of $7.64. However, a shift in sentiment led to several large sell orders, and the price started to drop. A lot of these trades occurred at around the $10 mark, which seems to be a key level where selling pressure increased. The options market shows a mixed sentiment. There's $4.5 million in call options versus $1.33 million in put options, indicating some optimism. Significant call options are available at strike prices of $7.50 and $10, suggesting a mixed but generally optimistic outlook. However, it's important to remember that options trading reflects sentiment and doesn't directly impact stock prices. The current open interest in these options indicates some long-term confidence from certain investors, especially with notable activity in January 2026 call options at the $10 strike price. Tomorrow's jobs report will be crucial. If it's favorable, it might calm the broader market and help stabilize Sophie's performance. As of now, Sophie is trading at $7.25, hovering between support at $7 and resistance at $7.34. If it falls below these levels, we could see it approach $6.60 to $6.20. On the other hand, staying above $7.28 might lead to a potential rebound towards $9 though this is subject to volatility. There hasn't been any new analyst coverage since the last rating 28 days ago, which set a target price of $7. Analysts still have a consensus target of $8.27, indicating a potential 14% upside from current levels. I also want to share a brief update from a recent interview discussing the job market. Recruiter sentiment is at its lowest in 18 months, and hiring is slowing down. This tight labor market is adding to market uncertainties. Friends, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about today's video? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.